Hi guys, so welcome back. We finally made it to St. Lucia. Look at this beautiful view. That is the most stunning mountain and we have such a gorgeous view here at our Airbnb. I'll give you guys a little tour. It's this cute little villa that's pretty private and secluded, but it's not totally secluded because there are like other homes and other things around. But it is so freaking cute. We just got here yesterday and it was a crazy day. Everything that could go wrong yesterday kind of did, but in the end it was still a really fun day. It was very adventurous. So when we first got here yesterday, we actually got here really early, which was nice, but our phones didn't work and we actually had bought a little like signal box thing so we would have signal out here and Wi-Fi and that wasn't working so I was kind of freaking out because we rented a car so we were hoping that our phones would work so we could use the GPS and the maps and everything to get around because obviously we have no idea where we are and we heard the driving here is a little crazy and it's also the opposite side so the steering wheel is on the right and you have to drive you know on the opposite side of the road so it was just it was a lot and I was very overwhelmed because I'm like how are we gonna get around so we let the guy know when we were renting our car and he told us that we could follow him well, actually we asked it we asked him if he could kind of guide us to our airbnb because we had no idea where to go and so he did and we're trying to keep up with him you guys because he's driving a little crazy and the way that the roads are here it's so different luckily hector's driving because i can't even drive on the highways at home because i get the worst driving anxiety so anyways we're on our way here and we literally get a flat tire and the guy he's driving so fast so he doesn't even realize until maybe like five ten minutes later he eventually came back but we met the sweetest guy on the side of the road that helped us he was honestly memorable because he was so nice and it's just really nice to come across really nice people so yeah thank god for him but eventually the guy who rented us our car came back and they put a donut on the car like the spare tire and then later on in the evening the tire was replaced and everything was all good we ended up getting a taxi to go to the grocery store which is called the Massey store here so we picked up a ton of little groceries and odds and ends because we do have a kitchen that we want to use and there's also an outdoor kitchen so we're going to grill later on and pretty much just hang out by the pool i'll show you guys the view it's beautiful eventually everything ended up working out we figured out that there's an app that you can actually use with no wi-fi no data or anything so if you are out i'm not sure if you can use it everywhere but i know you can use it here i will leave the name of it right here i think it's called Waze dot me or something it's on my phone right now i don't remember at the top of my head but it's basically an app where you can use the maps and pretty much get around without having to use your data or wi-fi you can pretty much use it with no signal and it works which is great so we're all good with that we're gonna use our car today the tire is replaced thank god because i didn't really want to drive the car with the spare because the roads here are, like i said they're pretty bad so if you are coming to st lucia be prepared for the driving and i'm so happy that i did bring motion sickness pills because there's just a lot of sharp turns because like there's a lot of mountains and stuff up here but it's so beautiful honestly the views were totally worth it but regardless overall yesterday was a beautiful day and i'm just so happy that we're here so i'm gonna show you guys a little tour so here is our little outside grill area which i love we're gonna use this later on we bought some food i think we're gonna make some fish today but look at that mountain view i cannot get over it these are the views we have a nice infinity pool and it's just gorgeous you guys like truly paradise and then when you walk over here, you can actually see the mountain too. There's an even better view of it. Look at that. That is our room in there. It's actually the bedroom is in there. And then we have our little kitchen and living room area. Hector always has Bob Marley on, especially when we travel. His fave. And I'll show you guys our room from yesterday when we first got here when the bed was all made and pretty. I love all the sounds, right? It's so peaceful. Birds, roosters, children playing. <laughs> So we're gonna just go drive and do a little exploring. We're gonna pick up some water. Then we'll come back and just hang out at the pool, possibly go to the beach later. But it's gonna be a chill, relaxing day. And this is my OTD. I'm just wearing this button up from Amazon. Bathing suit top is Amazon. And then I just have on some jean shorts. These are Levi's and sandals from Target. You literally match the car. Love it. Never get over these views and all the little flowers and everything. It's so beautiful. 
So this is the little maps thing I was telling you guys about earlier. It's called maps.me and you can literally use the GPS. I don't think it talks though, but you can still use it and it'll show you and guide you without needing to use your Wi-Fi or data or anything. So yeah, it's cool. It's an offline map. Yeah, it's cool. And it's very accurate too. Good. That room? Yeah. Perfect. Oh yeah, yeah, drive on the left, not on the right. Left, left, left. Oh yeah, I saw like a couple of them yesterday around here. There's another one on there. What is it? Oh, baby! It's so cute. Hi, mama. Hi. Just precious. That does look beautiful. I love because back at home you'll say hi to people and they'll ignore you. Right. Oh, this is the scary thing. Right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They gotta see this. Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> Holding my breath going up these hills. It just seems almost impossible for there to be two cars on the road because yeah. it's so narrow. Oh my gosh, Mountain View, stunning. This is so scary. I'm like holding my breath. Oh, cool. Maybe we can get waters there. Did you sell? That's the cell phone. Oh yeah, I think you can switch your SIM card. It said there. Yeah. These are good. Which ones you like more? The one in the car is Forest Springs, and that's the Blue Waters. Forest Spring? You like Forest Spring? What did you like more? Um, I mean, honestly, I, they both taste the same. <laughs> I like Forest Springs. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. <laughs> How deep is it? It's like seven feet. You can go up to the edge? Yeah. It's good. Right. <laughs> you getting out? This is dry a little bit. You know what song I have in my head? <laughs> it goes up. Uh, Sean Kingston, uh, Take You There. You know that song? Wait, uh, Take You There? No. <laughs> yeah, but how else does it go? I don't know. It's like, you know I can take you, I can take you, shorty, <laughs> I can take you there. Do you know that song? Yeah, yeah, I can take you. 
He's picking out mangoes. Mm. They're gonna be good. This guy just picked mangoes for us from the trees back there. It's time making dinner. You can try that one too, man. Mm -hmm. Take out the jelly, man, and eat the jelly. Okay. Do you eat the jelly? Yeah, man, yes, eat man. the jelly, man. It's good. You can also drink some and give your wife some too, man. How long do the uh, coconuts take to develop? Uh, it don't really have a special season today because it, it's been right through the year. But I think the process from a little one to a big one might take about a, a four to five, six months. Okay, yeah, yeah. it's not bad. And they, do, bad. they have to do it, it's going to take less than that. Yeah, man. Two months. Two months. Yeah. Wow. Bigger than that one. Bigger coconut than this one. Yeah. It's so refreshing. But if you have to plant the tree, if you have yeah. to plant the tree, like from planting the tree to grow from baby, that take up five years to be. Yeah. Five, six, seven years. Yeah. Depends on what moon you plant it. Yeah. yeah. How much of uh, the coconut, like how much is good to drink a day? Like one a day, two a day? How much you can drink for the day, man? No, it's just, you just no keep limit. going. No limits. No limits. No limits. Like we smoking non-stop, we yeah. drinking non-stop, it's cleaning your body, cleaning the organ. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Make you pee a lot, refreshing your whole body. Yeah. Wash out with. Yeah. Yeah. Clean up the blood too. Yeah, man. Food for your kidney and then stuff. Yeah. Wash out. Clean. Give you nice body, nice skin. Yeah. Nice eyes. Well, guys can drink that whole day today. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. They get more. Just give me a little link up and I'll get more for you. All right. Yeah, no problem, man. Yeah. I'll drink this all day. Yeah, all day, man. Yeah, man. Put that in the refrigerator to chill and, you know, mm -hmm. you drink it with ice, however you want. Hey guys, good morning. So we are about to head out to Sulphur Springs today and then I think we're gonna hit maybe one or two beaches, grab some lunch. We're gonna try out a new restaurant today. Hopefully we're gonna try to see if we can get reservations in. I think it's called, hold on, it's like in this book, hold on. It's here, I wanted to say the name of it. Tet Rouge is what it's called. So we hopefully are gonna be able to get in there possibly today or tomorrow, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm so excited for Sulphur Springs. Everybody says that they love it and apparently really great for your skin. But first, I'm gonna lay out for like 10, 15 minutes because the sun here, it just hits different, honestly. Trying to walk on the rocks. 
made it to Sulphur Springs. I smell the sulfur. Oh my gosh, I really smell it. So, I text you on the talk to the blue railings. After you come back down there, we'll head down to the bus. That's the bus right there. Oh, okay. And when you come back, I'll be a paparazzi. Take some pictures for me. Hey, hey, hey. All right, what's the name? Thank you. you. See the vents right there with uh -huh. the sulfur coming out of it? Yeah. That's that's where it's coming out. That's the smell we're smelling. Mm. Those vents in the earth. The hard boiled webbles, that's what hey. we smell. <laughs> it smells just like eggs. <laughs> no, literally. Wow. Everyone's so nice here. Uh, beautiful. See when the meat Where's the bubble? Yeah. I see a bubble in there, yeah. yeah that's about 110, 115. Also to the right, this concrete of a wall. This is all part of an old bath house. Mm. Yeah, that was built somewhere around 1901, 1902. Yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do your video, huh? Yeah. So you guys come out now? Yeah. You come out. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. So good. Good morning. So let's get ready together. I'm gonna do just a really simple makeup. We're gonna head out to Sugar Beach again today. We absolutely loved the restaurant there. So it's the Sugar Beach Resort, but if you get lunch, you're able to hang out at the beach and do all that fun stuff. And yesterday we actually did a boat ride on Sugar Beach, which was really fun. And we got to see a bat cave as well as two other beaches, which was nice. So we are probably gonna go to Sugar Beach again today. We might do another beach or we might just hang out at Sugar Beach all day because it was so beautiful and relaxing. I'm gonna just do really simple makeup makeup. Something I recommend if you are coming here, mosquito repellent. And something else, do not bring big bills because even 50s are a little bit like eh, iffy depending, but it is nice because when you go to restaurants, they will take the bigger bills. But if you're just buying things locally or, you know, even just going to the market, I don't recommend bringing big bills. On my face, by the way, I just have on the Super Goop Glow Screen. I pretty much ran out of the Elf Woe Glow. I love this stuff as well. This is the case where, honestly, I love the original and the dupe. I think these are both great. This is the only SPF that I brought. I've been using it pretty much everywhere, as well as the ITK Setting Spray SPF. This is really good, too. I've also been using the Super Goop Unseen Lip Balm. This is just a clear lip balm with SPF in it. And you can even top this over other lip products, which is nice. So I've been using this nonstop as well for mascara i'm using the elf big mood i freaking love this mascara it makes your lashes so long i'm gonna use the rare beauty positive light under eye brightener this is kind of like my concealer and my brightener today i love this product when i'm not wearing any makeup on my face because it just gives instant brightness but it still looks so natural and fresh elf halo glow beauty wand this one is in the color rose you slay I wore this yesterday and it's really pretty because it kind of makes your face look like you got a little sunburned, but like in the best way possible. I'm gonna do the lightest dusting of this LYS powder. 
so lightweight but it still sets your makeup and smooths everything out really nicely and we're gonna add more blush this one is Too Faced in Tequila Sunset it's the Cloud Crush brush blush <laughs> Cloud Crush Cloud Crush blush tongue twister but this color is also really pretty because it gives a kind of sunburned look. Rare Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Wise. I fill them in just a little bit. And the Rare Beauty Lip Oil in Hope. ITK Setting Spray with SPF 30. I actually might lay out for a little bit, get some sun, and then we will head out. Back like we never left. <laughs> Love the fit, so handsome. There's bread and butter, sign me up. Mm, yummy. Time to dig in. 